How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and I'm back with the Black Wedlock. Oh my goodness, it got so intense last episode. It is just crazy. Here's a look at my team right now. I did a whole bunch of training off camera. Um, got pretty much everyone up to level 28. Hopefully that'll be sufficient. Swan still has a ways to go, but she's kind of weak right now. Yeah, only 29 special attack. Ugh. Really shows, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I mean, everyone's doing all right. Um, Ren is the only one who will be evolving before the upcoming gym fight, and that's not very reassuring. I don't think Swan is going to be the answer I need to take on um, Clay. Uh, it might come down to Chickadee, who now has Jump Kick, which is very nice. Anyway, I know last time I ended up in Driftvale City, but in my, uh, in my, my, I don't even know what to call it, my distress, I guess, I just left Route 5 pretty much unattended. I mean, I didn't fight anyone after these stinking preschoolers got the better of me, and then Alder and Charon kind of teamed up, but whatever. Um, alright, so there's this little truck here. I can go in here and talk to the humble maid. And, uh, yeah, I can actually sell her various things. Things that taste or smell good. So, I could sell her tiny mushrooms and get a much better deal for them than if I were to sell them in the store. Now, you know, I'm not going to go through my entire inventory, but really I just wanted to sell her that ice cream that I got way back. Because that's actually a pretty... Wait, where is it? Oh, that's right. It's over here, isn't it? There we go, my Castellia cone. I bought it for like, I don't know, 100 or something, and now I get 2,000. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of spend this episode playing catch up here. Um, say nothing of mustard. I just really need to get caught up. All right, so we're going to fight this. I'm assuming I fight her. I don't know what helps her bake, but we're gonna find out. Oh, man. All right, let's see. She has a lot of Pokemon. Uh-oh, Panseer. Hey, this just in. You're not Cardinal. Go away. All right, let's see if Swan can take this thing out on her own. Um, we'll go for just Bubble Beam. Sad thing is I doubt it'll even knock it out. Yeah, it wasn't even enough to knock it out. That's kind of sad. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I mean, she'll be great once she evolves, but the problem is she's not going to evolve in time for the gym. All right, there's that pan pour. Now I really have to use Swan against this, and I'm not looking forward to that. So let's see. A um, couple of options here. I could Feather Dance from the get-go. I'm going to Feather Dance from the get-go. This thing probably isn't going to try and use Scald against me. So it doesn't really make sense to... I mean, it's probably going to... Oh, it's water gunning. That's interesting. All right. I was going to take a moment just to set up the Aqua Ring. I really don't like this move. It doesn't heal enough damage, but you know what? I think it'll help for right now because it's going to take a few turns to take this thing out anyway. Since your Aerial Ace hits so weak... I mean, look at that. It's three hits. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, only healing like four hit points. So underwhelming. Okay, but that's fine. Oh, and now you go for it. Go figure. Actually, I didn't even see if that was Scald or Water Gun. <laughs> I don't remember. I think they get it at level 20. Oh, maybe it's level 22. That might be it. Oh, well, whatever. Whatever. Actually, you know what? I think Swan can handle this Pan Sage. Obviously, Cardinal could, but no reason to switch out right now. Got Aqua Ring up, which doesn't heal a lot, but, you know, heals one of those Fury Swipes. Yeah, it's such a bad move. I'm getting rid of that. Oh, so bad. <laughs> uh, on the bright side, I'm getting Scald, I think, before the, uh, before the next gym, so that's cool. All right. Now, I've not yet gotten my encounter here, too. Keep that in mind. So, I should probably do that. But it seems to me there's something over here. Yeah, there is. Yep, yeah, buddy, a hyper potion. I will take that. Oh, man, I need to be hyper right now. 
It's so hard to be hyper. I have bad memories on this route. Not gonna lie, it's like everyone just set up this big picnic of death. Ugh. So sad. Okay, so my encounter for Route 5 is... What is it? Now, I don't have to worry about gender claws or anything. It's a... Oh, Minchino! So cute! All right, let's try catch this thing. Uh, do I have... I don't think I have any quick balls or anything. No, I don't. Ooh, I do have a heal ball left over. All right, let's see. Oh, this thing doesn't have... I hope it doesn't have rock glass. I don't think it does. I better feather dance it just in case. I think after a feather dance, I could take a rock blast. I think it's just Chinchino that gets it. Encore. Oh, no! Oh, well, that's just swell. Okay, um... Well, time to switch for Cardinal here. Can't really afford to be locked in. Tickle? Hey! Stop tickling Cardinal! Come on! What's the matter with you? Um, that's actually fine. That should mean Cut won't knock it out. Well, that was an anticlimactic turn. Alright, well, apparently this thing swifts. Hmm, okay, um, you know what? I'm gonna go for one more cut. In fact, actually, I think Grass Knot would have been a better... Oh, no! Cute Charm triggered! The downside of that is... It doesn't have Technician! Ah! Technician is what makes Minchino really good, because a lot of its moves hit for very low power. So, naturally, it doesn't have it. Oh, well, let's try to catch it in a heal ball anyway. This thing would still be cute to catch, and it could still be all right. It's just with Technician, it's going to be substantially less good. In fact, about 50% less good. But it's still my Route 5 encounter. I just went through Route 5 without getting anything earlier. They greet one another by rubbing each other with their tails, which are always kept well-groomed and clean. Well, that's good. I guess, um, high five or low five or whatever. All right, I need to give this thing a nickname, darn it. Let's see, I, I can't think of any clear cut thing, so I'm gonna re reference my list really quick and I'll be right back. Well, you know what? She's cute, she has cute charm, so we're gonna call her Lovebird because let's face it, Lovebird is a uh, type of bird. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess it'll work with her cute charm ability, so that's kind of nice. Oh, man, there's a trainer here. I wonder what she has. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's like I really want to train my duck, but I don't really want to... I don't know. I mean, she's not very strong. Maybe I'll leave this to Chickadee and Aqualavis. If she does have a herdier, I should be in good shape. It seems like everyone has a herdier nowadays. It's just so painful. This big bag! What do you think is inside? Probably the corpses of my Pokémon! Oh! So sad. I mean, what kind of a question is that, anyway? A Muna? Well, I didn't see that one coming. How many Munas do you have in that bag, huh? Well... Uh, let's see. Ooh, I have Feint Attack. That's kinda cool. Forgot to get rid of it. Actually, I wasn't, like, in a hurry to. I have a feeling Return would do more damage anyway. We're gonna find out, though. Oh, or we could just get a critical hit and not have any complaints. I lost, but now I have more things to add to my bag! Whoa! That really is morbid! Oh my goodness, that's terrible! I'll tell you a secret. The things I put in the bag are memories of my journey! <laughs> Muna, no! The things you can't see are very heavy! Oh, wow. She is nuzlocking hardcore there. Wow. That's intense. Maybe I should get a big bag. I feel like I need it sometimes. Oh. Okay. Um. Whoa. Let's not get too frisky. Oh, yeah. I have the Soothe Bell equipped just because I wanted to boost the power of her return. Since uh, Chickadee's actually part normal type as well. Return would be pretty strong, all things considered. So it certainly doesn't hurt to get that kind of going. Hmm, this guy. This guy. Whoa. Ooh, hopefully I can get away. Darn it. 
Although, maybe I don't even need to. I'm just kind of worried I won't be able to run from the laser cat. Yeah, I'm just gonna fight it. We'll let these two fight together. Um, alright, let's... I guess I'll Aqua Jet that thing. Yeah, go Derpy Turtle! Ah, oh, that wasn't very much. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was okay. Whoa. Stop, please. Really glad I didn't go for Jump Kick right about now. By the way, guys, the reason I didn't go for Jump Kick is if you miss with Jump Kick, which is a 5% chance, you uh, receive half of your hit points in damage. That's not very good. <laughs> so you really have to be careful with it. And in a double battle like this, um, yeah. I would much rather go for the sure bet, let's just say. That's why I have both of those moves, because sometimes you just want to do some fighting type damage. And you don't want to have to deal with, you know, that whole... Wow, okay, you can stop using Embargo. What are you, the Trade Ambassador of Unova or something? Jeez. Alright, let's use Aqua Jet again. You're such a speedy turtle. There we go. It looks really funny from behind, though. I've never used one of these things. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, I should probably switch out really quick here. I guess I can use Ren and Quail. I mean, they're not perfect, but... Ren is close to evolving. She'll evolve at level, uh, level 30, and that's nice. As my mind roams, as the wind blows, Destiny has brought us to this battle. Yes, Destiny has. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it won't be any really bad kind of encounter. Help, but Toad... Um, I mean, I guess I can deal with this. It's not great, but it's not that bad. Oh, joy, Aqua Ring. Well, let's just see how much you do with Bug Bite. That is amazing. All right, good job, Ren. Uh, wow, like I even, why did I even doubt you? That was really good. Huh, okay. A revive, there's something that won't have any use. Actually, I can sell it for some money. Um, let me go ahead and... You know what? While I could just put a smoke ball on something, I'm just going to use this repel. It's not like there's really that much I need to do. I just want to go over here without having to run into cats. They're everywhere. Oh, man. Someone just needs to go Bob Barker on this place. Okay, uh... Yeah, I guess that's everyone over here. So now I have to fight all these chums. Don't I have, like, lemonade or something? I know I bought some Moo Moo milk. Oh, I got some fresh water. Sure, let's use this. Let's heal up Chickadee, and I guess I'll use Ren. I'm trying to train Duck in the background, although I don't even know why. All right, clown, let's do this. Come on. I wonder what this clown even has. He's got a Whirlipede. <laughs> hey, that's so funny. Um, okay, now the problem here is, like, I could use Psy Beam or Psy Shock, but I could also get hit with Bug Bite. And let's face it, that would be really bad right about now. So, like, if I switched out, that'd probably take out poor, uh, poor, oh, darn it, why am I just blanking out? What? Quail. Derp. I know, just because it says it on the sidebar doesn't mean I get to see it while I'm playing the game. <laughs> I add that after the fact. Oh, man, now the tough thing is, I I hate poison. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I really do. I never remember what is effective against what. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because it's going to protect anyway. Hey, whatever, dude. You know what? I'm just going to iron defense. I'll just set this up. Oh, it's pack and pursuit. Which did, like, nothing. I'm just gonna Iron Defense again. I mean, really, there shouldn't be that much this thing can even do to me, except set up Iron Defenses of its own, which I probably should have thought about. Ah, uh, I guess whoever has the bigger bug wins. I just don't remember if Poison Tail or Bug Bite is more effective. Alright, well, clearly it wasn't Bug Bite. Oh, this is a riveting fight. Alright, let's try this. Oh, really, dude? Really? Alright, let's see. Do you ever have, like, tight matchups that you just, no matter what, 
you just don't remember. Oh, they're both resistant. That's kind of what I thought, to be honest. I think, like, poison resist bug and then... I don't know, whatever. Bug and poison are, like, two of my least favorite types. Oh, this is gonna take forever. I think Poison Tail has a higher chance of a critical. Yeah, critical hits land more easily. So all things being equal here, while it is resisted, I think it's just plain and simple going to do more damage. It doesn't seem like it, but we can even we got plenty of time to compare. Oh, we got plenty of time. Oh my goodness. It's like I can't switch. Although it isn't using Bug Bite. Let's see, use Protect, Iron Defense, Pursuit, and Poison Tail. So it doesn't have Bug Bite. It doesn't have Bug Bite. So the worst it could do is use Pursuit. There we go. I don't care if you use Pursuit against my Whirlipede, my Ren. It's just Quail. All right, see, that's thinking about it. Okay, now that we know that, um, let's go ahead and Psy Beam that thing. Certainly the better choice. Don't want to use Psy Shock because that'll take advantage of its defense. Well, it won't take advantage of it. It'll, well, not consider it. I mean, it, it ooh, ooh, Air Slash. That is great. That is really great. Better than uh, Aerial Ace. Although I don't need Aqua Ring. It just is not healing enough to be useful. Even though right now I do have those two um, two flying type moves. One's physical, one is special. So I'm just going to leave it out. I'm going to leave Quail out is what I mean. Uh, let's see. I know, kind of bouncing back with my train of thought. I do that all the time, you know. There we go. Now see, if I just had Quail out in the beginning, this wouldn't have been a problem. I am sorry that I underestimated you and your Pokemon's moves. Yeah, we had a battle of the big bugs, clown. All right, let's see what you're all about. I think being able to make people smile is a super awesome talent. Yeah, all right, well, that's good. Oh, these guys don't even want to fight. They're just standing here. Uh, all right, I don't need that. Oh, this guy wants to fight. Home fiercely, my battle song. Battle fiercely, my Pokemon. <laughs> that's actually a cool song. All right, let's see. What is musician Preston gonna use, huh? Blitzel. Um, not that worried about Blitzel. I guess I can deal with this. It's not perfect, but, you know. So, let's see. I think Bug Bite's 60 power. Yeah, Bug Bite will do more. Poison Tail has that nice chance of poisoning and a higher chance of a critical hit. All right, hopefully Shockwave doesn't hit too hard, though. Not a lot I can do about that. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. Look at that. Ren, you are a powerhouse. I don't know why. I just, I didn't really imagine Whirlipede being that impressive. I guess I'm being proven wrong here. Because Ren's great. She's, like, really strong. <laughs> I'm looking forward to uh, Quail evolving, too. Unfortunately, that won't be before the, uh, before the gym. And that really stinks. Oh, man. Um, let's see. Oh, you're giving me an electric guitar! Yeah! So good. Alright. Whoa! Cooler than cool. I gotta go there. I gotta give my Pokemon an electric guitar. You have no idea how badly right now. I just want to go there, give Cardinal the electric guitar, and just rock out, man. It would be so great. Alright, let's see. What do you got? What do you got? Turn around and it's my turn. Turn around and it's your turn. All right, well, that's, um, wait, whose turn is it? I don't even know, man. All right, let's see. He's got Darumaka Noon. This has me a little uneasy, I'm not going to lie. I can't stay in his Ren because Ren is just going to get destroyed by a Fire Punch or a Fire Fang. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I guess in theory I could use Iron Defense. Ren is very bulky. Let me just see. It has a scope lens. Wow, Ren's very bulky. I gotta give Ren the Eviolite. I thought she was holding that. Now, Quail, unfortunately, is not. She's got 32. 
Oh, this is terrible. Um. Oh, man. I mean, if I use Iron Defense, and if it hits for half, there's nothing I can do at that point. And I think after an Iron Defense, a Hustle on that thing is probably going to hurt. I have to switch for Quail. Unless it doesn't go for Fire Fang. Although there's nothing I have that's really effective against it. And there's, like, Poison Tail, but that's not going to do a lot. I can't Bug Bite it. I just have to, like, Psy Shock it and hope for the best. Alright, hopefully it'll, like, miss. Facade? Oh, that is not good. I think I might... Oh, I don't know if Psyshock will do enough to knock it out. That's the problem. Flatter can confuse it. It'll raise its special attack, but that doesn't really matter. Oh, this is so tough. Facade did not do enough to knock it out. 70 power. Fire Fang would do enough. So if I can't knock it out with Psyshock, and it uses Fire Fang and hits, I'm out of luck. And Quail does not have a lot of special attack. So that's why I don't think an 80 power move will actually do enough to take out Darumaka in one hit. I think it's a two hit thing. Oh, this is so not good. That's so tough. I'm gonna go for Flatter. I think it's actually my only hope. Now this thing can miss and it can hit itself. So those are some good advantages and I'd like to heal as soon as I can. All right, it's going for Facade. I guess that's good, but hang in there, Quail. All right, good. Good. So this thing is affected with, uh, whatever. Confusion. So I'm going to heal up. You can only use three healing items in a battle. That's kind of a self-imposed limit I have right now. Really? Oh, there we go. All right, that's good. Now, let's just see what Psyshock would do. I guess, um, it didn't really matter. Yeah, it was a two-hit, so... Oh, Fire Punch, not good. Whoa, all right, so see, it could have done that, and that's exactly what I was thinking it might do. But it's fine, because right now, it's a two-hit KO, I can take it out, so no worries. No worries, we got this. Unless he happens to have another Darumaka, in which case I, no, oh no! Oh no! Um, oh, that's awful. I mean, I could flatter it again and try to heal, but Fire Punch will take out. Oh, it'll take Ren out. I have to stay in. I mean, okay, so a couple options here. I'm just talking through, you know, when you're in a battle where you could lose someone, and gosh darn it, I've lost enough. I can't deal with this again. Um, you really have to think things through. Now, if I flatter it, it'll confuse it. There'll be a 50% chance it'll hit itself, and there won't be any problem. And even after that, even if it misses that, it'll still do a lot. Now, if I use Psy Shock, even Facade will knock it out. Now, I could heal right now, and that's basically just saying, alright, it has to miss with with Hustle. Like, there's no gain. I'd just be healing so it misses with Hustle or uses Facade. And even if it uses Facade, it doesn't matter. So, ultimately, I know it's risky not healing, but if I heal, it doesn't accomplish anything other than waiting for it to miss with um, Fire Punch or Facade. I need this Flatter right now. I need to confuse it, and it needs to hit itself. And it missed the first, uh, or the last two times. So tough. Alright, come on. Hit yourself, Darumaka. Hit yourself, please. Uproar. Oh, no. Its special attack is raised, too. Alright. Wow, that was a critical hit. It only did that. Uproar is fine. I'm so glad it's using that. You have no idea. So I'm using my second healing item here. But it's locked into Uproar, so I don't have anything to worry about. Oh, that's so, so nice. Whew. Okay, Crisis averted, everyone. 
That was a little, a little dicey. It's so tough when you're playing in a wedlock, you can only switch between the two active Pokemon. So I can't switch, you know, to an obvious choice like Swan or Aquilavis here. I can't do that. Just in case you're tuning in and you're like, wait, why can't you switch, huh? Um, yeah, you know, that's the wedlock in a nutshell. <laughs> And that's what makes this so challenging is, you know, you go into just random fights and you don't know what to expect. And then guess what? You know, you might only have so much coverage. So, yeah. Well, I think there's only one guy left here. I'm so burnt out using these two. I mean, that was just way too close. And I'm kind of nervous using Chickadee and Aquilavis simply because, well, you know, let's face it. They, uh are probably my best bet against the gym. Although realistically, if they can't fight everything, I don't think there's too much shared weakness here. I guess fighting. This guy used something fighting. He wants to turn me into a work of art. Well, if he uses something fighting, I'd be in trouble. But that's Sigilyph. Oh, that's trouble no matter what, though. Sigilyph is just such a pain to take out. Oh my goodness, this thing is... Ah, oh, it's such a fiend. I do have faint attack. I'm actually thinking return my hit for more. Um, let's see. I don't know if I'm maxed, though. Return with stab would do 150 power. Faint attack would do 120 power after super effective. So return, in theory, does more damage than faint attack. So I'm going to go for return. That's fine. Whirlwind. Whoa! Blowing my deer away. All right, which bird's coming out now? Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh, this is not good. Um. Oh, this is not good. Okay, so I have to switch. Now, what happens if you get hit with Whirlwind is you are now locked into using the new pairing. So I can only switch between Ren and and her partner, Quail. So I have to switch for Quail right now. Because I think either Air Cutter or Air Slash or Psy Beam or whatever are just going to destroy Ren. And that was really not cool. Hopefully it just Whirlwinds again. Oh, Tailwind. That's also not cool. Now thankfully, I think I still have Faint Attack here, so that's good. It might not do enough to knock it out. Oh, it's going for Whirlwind, I think. It is. Because there's no way it wouldn't have been, like, faster than me. Okay, I guess we're just letting everyone in the fight here. All right. Hey, that's fine. <laughs> Cardinal, just go for it. It's like, hey, I wanted my electric guitar. Come on, give me some fun. Oh, my goodness. Look at all that experience. Wow. What did he say? I don't even know what he just said. I think he just said, oh, I got whirlwinded. Wait, what colors? White, black, red, green, blue, yellow. Ah, <laughs> those are all the Pokemon version colors. That's great. A new explosion of color. Pokemon Rainbow confirmed, guys. All right. Um, let's see. I mean, it seems to me there might be someone else on Route 16, I guess. Probably not. I think I fought most everyone. Yeah, I think I did. Well, I guess I'll head back to uh, Drift Vale. I really just kind of wanted to clean up here. Yeah, let's go take a look at my Mancino really quick. I don't want to go to the cold storage just yet. I know I still have that ahead of me, but we'll leave that for another episode. Um, yeah. Nice relaxing bridge. Okay, here we are. And I know there's still... Oh, another thing. Just, uh... You know, so you don't wonder. I know about Charles here. All right, Charles is really tough in a wedlock. And you have to fight him in either a triple or rotation battle. So it's kind of awkward anyway. Um, realistically, I would just try to avoid him in a wedlock. Again, you would rather avoid triple or rotation battles whenever possible because they're not exactly like wedlock kosher. But, you know. All right, let's take a look here at my new Minchino.
Lovebird. Serious. And she has a Chesto Berry. Oh, if only she had Technician, though. Darn it. Oh, well, that's fine. She's still cute. Hopefully, I don't have to use her anytime soon, though. Oh, my goodness. I'm just so done with that. I am just so done with that. All right, I'm going to heal up really quick here. And um, let's see. I guess that's probably a good spot to wrap things up. I guess next time we'll check out the cold storage. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll go well. Let me just get outside here. All right, there we go. Hey, buddy. How's it going? How are you doing? I like your hat. Looks like everyone else's hat, except for mine. All right, well, that's wonderful. Okay, anyway, I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Black Wedlock. See you next time, storage cubes. Aw, yeah.